Do you know one thing? There are a lot of problems with just high and low voltage. For the purpose of determining the problem within a high and low voltage, it is referred to as a logic compatibility analysis. The concept of logic compatibility is something that every digital circuits designer needs to be familiar with. Over the course of this video, I will provide a comprehensive explanation of the concept of logical compatibility. Logic gate circuits are designed to input and output only two types of signals. Full power supply voltage for a high state and zero voltage for a low state. I am taking an example of NOT gate here. TTL gates operate on a nominal power supply voltage of 5 volts. Ideally, ATTL high signal would be 5.00 volts exactly and ATTL low signal 0.00 volts exactly. However, real TTL gate circuits cannot output such perfect voltage levels and are designed to accept high and low signals deviating substantially from these ideal values. According to the NOT gate datasheet, the acceptable input signal values are between 0 and 0 0.8 volts for a low logic state and between 2 and 5 volts for a high logic state. You can look at these pictures to get a better idea. The NOT gate's input range is from 2 to 5 volts. A higher voltage value means the NOT gate works. The NOT gate has a low value of 0 to 0 0.8 volts. During the simulation, you will be able to comprehend the logic. According to the logic of the NOT gate, if you apply a high voltage to the input of the NOT gate, then the NOT gate will receive a low voltage in the output section. Similarly, if you apply a low voltage to the input of the NOT gate, the output will exhibit a high value. What happens from 2 volts to 0.8 volts? If a voltage signal ranging between 0.8 volts and 2 volts were to be sent into the input of ATTL gate, there would be no certain response from the gate. Such a signal would be considered uncertain, and no logic gate manufacturer would guarantee how their gate circuit would interpret such a signal. If there is no voltage going into the NOT gate, the NOT gate won't respond correctly. As you can see, Utilize these circuits in order to prevent fluctuations in the input voltage of the NOT gate. The datasheet for the NOT gate says that the input should be 5 volts high and 0.8 volt low at most. This is the section that I have used in order to obtain a high stated of NOT gate input. To pull up the resistor. In the event that the input does not receive any signal, the pull up resistor will come across a condition of high voltage. Considering the reality that the NOT gate is connected to ground, the NOT gate input terminal section will receive 0.7 voltage, which is the diode forward voltage. When it comes to logic level signal, I really hope that this video was helpful. I will explain in the following videos how two logic gates work with a different signal. I will also explain how they work. Thank you.